Hi, I'm Rocky. And I'm Sarah. And we are Savage Disney Pins. How's it going? Today we have something a little bit different for you. What do we got? We miss the park so much that we're <laughs> running routines and drills, so we're ready to go at a moment's notice. Go, 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 go! So Sarah has prepared her bag, what she carries in the park, and hopefully you can uh, glean some knowledge from that. Yeah, so I thought that I would go over what I like to carry in the park with me. I'm hoping that maybe I have some information that will help you the next time you go to the park. And Sarah's a bit of a Girl Scout. She's extremely prepared for almost any situation, but minimal carry load. So she's not bringing everything in the world with her. I hope you find this beneficial. So what's the vessel that contains all of your stuff that you bring into the park? I'm on the fanny pack trend, like 100% on the fanny pack trend. When we went on our honeymoon, a friend of ours actually gifted us just a plain black Eagle Creek fanny pack. Day two, I started rocking it and never looked back. While mine isn't as hip or cool as Sarah's new fanny pack, it's very serviceable, it's small. You know, I got over looking like a dad because function over fashion, 100%, <laughs> I have no sweat marks from straps on my shoulders. If I need to get into a ride, I just sit down and turn the bag and then pull the lap bar down. It's out of the way, so easy, and my hands are free. So what I like about the fanny pack, so what I like about the fanny pack that I carry around is I can wear it around my waist or I can crossbody it, and it is the Adidas bag. And of course I love it because these are like my favorite colors here. And then I put a little, a little bling on mine. I have my Powerline stand out pin. And then I also have this pull on the yellow strap. Hands up, pull on the yellow strap. It's also a great icebreaker or conversation starter in line. Literally every line we go on, someone comments on that, yeah. that keychain. Yeah, I love, I love it. So I add that to my bag. The nice thing about this bag is it's really good sized too. Sometimes it does get a, a little bit heavy, but we also tend to get a locker. So this is literally just what I carry through the turnstiles. So most of the time we'll get a locker first thing in the morning and bring a few extra things with us and leave that stuff in there. And then this is just what comes into the park with us. We recommend getting a locker outside of the parks if you park hop at all, in which, you know, and if you're in California, you park hop, it's just a thing to do. In Disney World, it's fine to get a locker inside the parks. I think they range anywhere from like $7 to $12, mm -hmm. depending on the size. Absolutely worth it. Yeah. Absolutely worth it. I like to stop by at around sunset or six o'clock when, when you no longer need your sunglasses. I throw my bag in there. I throw my sunglasses in there. If it's cold, I get a sweatshirt. And then I like to carry nothing in those last couple of hours, mm -hmm. maybe yeah. except for my water bottle, which is something that doesn't fit in the fanny pack. Absolute necessity. A, an insulated water bottle. You got ice all day. And a little Disney hack, if you want to call it that. Any of the quick service restaurants will give you a cup of ice water. Yeah, if they have plumbing. Ice cold water, though, on a hot day in the park is a game changer. Speaking of hot days in the park, I do have two essentials that I bring with me when I know it's going to be like 85 or hotter. My, my limit is like 75 degrees. That's about where I tap out. Southern California and Florida weather usually not my cup of tea. And so these two items are really, really essential for me to carry around. Can we sound more like we're from the Pacific Northwest? <laughs> <laughs> I like the rain. Those two hot day necessities are a cooling towel. Okay, so you put a little water on it, wring it out, and then just put it around your neck. And you can wear it like a cool guy like that. Um, cool guy. And that'll stay cool for a long time. It's really, it's really nice. And it, it does get your shirt a little bit damp, but it's really, it's really refreshing. The other thing I bring on, but I know it's gonna be a super hot day, is I found this little fan. It's for like, I don't, drying eyelashes, I think. It has different settings. I'm not gonna lie, I initially mocked her when she brought this thing into the park. <laughs> About two o'clock in the afternoon, I was asking to borrow it. And I think it was like five bucks on Amazon. When I know it's gonna be super hot out, these are the two things that I always bring with me in my bag. Like we said, we are Oregonians. We do not get a lot of sun up here. We are very, very uh, easily sunburnt. So sunscreen is super important to us, both in California and Florida. Even though we 
apply sunscreen before we even walk out of our hotel room in the morning. Another item that I always carry around, whether I have it physically in my bag or in the locker, sunscreen. And I carry these packets. I just bring a couple of them. They're like single use packets. And you can get these on Amazon too. Um, they pack really nicely. They're airplane, like airplane size. TSA approved. TSA approved. That's what I was trying to say. And there's a ton of different brands that all have these little packages. So they're really, they're really great to carry around. <laughs> yeah, we talked about sun and I think I just got sunburned from the conversation. Right, yeah. <laughs> we do not do well in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger pain. Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh, sunglasses. Always bring sunglasses with you. It's so bright there. You don't want to get that squinting headache, you know, where you don't have sunglasses and you're just doing this all day and about two hours in, your head starts to kill you from squinting. Now who's the cool guy? It's always been me. Next, you gotta have a phone especially if you use any fast passes or just need a map to find the bathroom and don't want to carry a piece of paper. The Disney app has come a long way since its inception. It's pretty fantastic. I wouldn't do fast passes without the max pass system on that phone. It is totally worth it. Yeah, and if you're in Disney World, you, you need the phone for the My Disney Experience app and the Play app. And the Play app. The Play app is really awesome too, but it, it, it does drain your battery. I also carry around a battery backup pack. Other things that your phone is necessary for. You're in Disneyland, you're taking pictures, you're gonna want your phone. You want a mobile order of food and skip that really long line at award wieners. It is completely unjustifiable. <laughs> you're gonna want your phone. They do sell fuel rods. I've never used one, but I hear really good things about them. So if you, I think they're like 30 bucks initially, and then you can swap them out for free when that one dies. Yeah, you don't so, have to charge. Yeah, so you could buy one at the beginning of your trip if you don't have one at home or, or don't wanna get one online or anything like that. I always carry my bolo with me. So this is my Darkwing bolo and I love it very, 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 very much. And then um, I have this card holder too. So I don't actually even carry a wallet with me. I put my ID, my park pass, debit or credit card, a couple bucks, cash in here and it just stays on my neck the whole day. I fully advocate carrying minimal wallets for all you dudes out there. They got wallets that are like this thick. Just take the credit card you need and your ID and you're good. Tap to pay almost every kiosk there. You just bam, you don't have to take anything out. Yeah, and in Walt Disney World, you've got the Magic Band, so you can pay straight from that most of the time. I think the world needs to switch to Magic Band. <laughs> can you imagine how easy that would be if everything was just Magic Band? I mean, it's essentially an Apple Watch. I right? want to get inside my house, just like a hotel, Magic <laughs> right. Band. Yeah. I want to pay for that hamburger. <laughs> I'm going to buy that new car. Maybe not. Gum. Disney does not sell gum. Not one park. So if you think you're going to want gum throughout the day or throughout your trip, bring some with you. I always just have a pack with me. The other thing that Disney does not have are plastic straws. They sell these cute little snack straws. They have like Mickey waffles and Dole Whips and churros and Mickey ice cream bars and pretzels. But I always bring one with me because I, I can't drink out of the paper straws. I just can't do it. I get it. I like the idea of not having the plastic straws. So I bring this with me. The other thing I bring is this little coffee cozy. And I use this for hot and cold drinks. And it Velcros, so it can go on lots of different sizes. But if we get coffee in the morning and it's hot, I like to have something that's reusable. And then throughout the day, we always, always go back for an iced coffee later in the day. And I put this on there so that um, my hand doesn't get all wet and all the sweat from the cup kind of goes in here. So I always bring this with me too. I don't want to iced coffee. <laughs> That does sound really good right now, actually. We'll be right back. Bye. Starbucks was closed. <laughs> no iced coffee. Okay, back to the bag. Back to the bag. So these are not mini M&Ms. These are quarters and pennies in case I run into a smash penny machine that I just have to have. And they are layered. So here's a little hack, especially if you're going with kids. This was great when we took the kids last summer 
and one of them is obsessed with smash pennies. So he took one of these. He was easily able to get two quarters and a penny out anytime he needed, needed, wanted to smash a penny. So it's quarter, quarter, penny, quarter, quarter, penny, quarter, quarter, penny, all the way up. So I always bring this with me. Jackpot! This is my favorite part here. And we are predominantly a pens first channel, so let's get to pens. I carry around a bag of traders. I have maybe like, I don't know, 25 or so pins in here. So I know that all my traders are in my aerial bag. And then I carry a second bag with me for anything that I trade. So they don't go back in here and I won't accidentally trade them again. They go in my Space Mountain bag. So I carry both these little bags with me. Public service announcement. Don't bring scrappers into the park. And if you get a scrapper, don't recirculate it. Please. Knowing's half the battle. Zip lock baggies. Zip lock baggies are amazing to have for a few different reasons. I bring, I have three different sizes in here. I've got the big one, then like the sandwich bag, and then the snack size. The big one is really good for if you're going on a water ride or something like that and you wanna put, I mean like my whole fanny pack can fit in one of those gallon size bags. I just shove it all in, zip it up, and then nothing gets wet on Splash Mountain. The Smaller two bags are really good. Um, I eat a lot of churro toffee and I can't always finish my churro toffee. And it's covered in cinnamon and sugar. And so if I just put it in the fanny pack, it'll get all over the place. So I put any uneaten snacks in these. There's like a thousand reasons to use Ziploc bags all, you know, every day. So just bring a few with you. They're really great. They're really handy. Don't be the guy that tries to save a lobster roll for the plane ride home. No one wants to sit next to that person. Oh God. Speaking of staying dry, in Walt Disney World, as a lot of you probably know, it rains. And it can be like torrential downpour for like five minutes, but you are soaked to the core. So sometimes we will bring either an umbrella or ponchos with us. Watch your forecast. We got stranded once and wasted an hour in line trying to buy ponchos in Southern California because we went in winter. And we're out like 20 bucks a poncho or however much they cost. There's only a couple more things in here that are like truly essential for me. We have a friend who loves Disney possibly more than we do. And she, <laughs> she creates these little like passports. So this one was from March of 2019. There's directions and rules. Where am I? And so you have to find all of these certain things and you have to go to all the fortune tellers. And then I even got Anna to sign the back here. And so I always bring a passport with me if I have one for that trip. And then a Sharpie to go with it so I can mark off everything that I've completed and get my character signature on the back. She does an amazing job with these. Mm -hmm. That being said, they're not for the faint of heart. There's even a hardcore Disney goers page in here. Spot a feral cat roaming Disneyland or California adventure. Notice that one's not marked off. Apparently Tigger doesn't count. The last thing I carry is a little kind of medical bag. I guess that's what I would call it. I keep all my little medical stuff in a separate bag just so it like stays together. There's no real reason for it. You don't need to do that. But I got this super cute uh, Aladdin and Jasmine flying on the carpet lounge fly bag. I thought, what better use than to put my medical supplies in it? I think that's the demographic they're trying to hit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. That's gonna be so important when the parks open back up. Wash your dang hands, kids. Obviously hand washing is gonna be the best, but in the Disney parks, that's not always like immediately accessible for you, especially like Little handrails and getting on and off the rides. Like thousands of people are touching that every day. Anything with a steering wheel. It's just really nice to have the hand sanitizer with you. The other thing I bring is a little bit of ibuprofen. I am susceptible to migraines. They are a bummer. Um, the last thing I want is a migraine in Disneyland. So I bring Excedrin with me. I noticed these aren't in the containers these medicines came in. Where'd you get these? Because these take up a lot less room than like a pill bottle would. 
Um, I think I got them at a dollar store. Chapstick, I carry chapstick with me. That's really, really important. Honestly, it's probably because I eat so much popcorn when I'm at Disneyland that it just like, all the salt, all the sodium that I'm consuming in one day from the amount of popcorn that I eat, like dries my entire body out. So, chapstick. Um, I normally never wear chapstick, but if you're in the park all day, we talked about getting sunburn, get some chapstick with some light SPF in it so your mouth doesn't get burned or your lips don't start cracking and peeling from just yeah. the sunlight. Yeah, that's really important too. Some other little pills, I bring Dayquil, just in case. Some allergy medicine, just in case. Some allergy meds, yeah, just a couple of those. Hardly ever need them, but just in case. Um, lactaid for this guy, because he's, you know, destined to eat, have a milkshake or something and need these. These, these have come in handy. If you don't know what these are and you get motion sick, you need to get some of these. They're amazing. They are motion sickness bands and you just put them around your wrist and put the, there's like a little dot on here and you put that on your pressure point. You wear it on both hands and within like an hour-ish, sometimes not even an hour, I start to feel better. No judgment on this next one. This is amazing stuff. I have thighs that rub together, for real. And when you walk like 14 miles a day in the Disney parks, thighs rubbing together is the worst. So this is Chaving Relief Powder Gel. I recommend this if you have if your thighs touch at all get this real talk for my dudes out there it says modest down on it don't be fooled this is your best friend i haven't found a product that works better and my god i couldn't imagine a world without it <laughs> oh man it helps so much yeah don't yeah. be ashamed be comfortable and honestly it's not just for your thighs either um if i'm wearing like a, a tank top or something like that and i Honestly, if I start feeling rub here because I'm like warm and sweaty, I put it there too. And it's really, really great stuff. I bought that from Amazon and anything else that I found on Amazon, we will go ahead and link any of that below so that you know where to get it. It wasn't very expensive and it is like one of the best products that I have ever used walking around Disneyland. Chafing is the worst. <laughs> it is. I wear glasses, they get Filthy. Rocky even has a term for it when we're in, in Disneyland. When you get splashed on your lenses, it's called a Disney vision. It happens, it's real. So I always bring a couple lens wipes with me, a couple band-aids. Most times we go, I don't need them, but there have been a handful of times where it's been so handy to just be able to pull a band-aid out of my bag. Yeah, blisters, pinjuries. Well, for blisters, yeah. I carry something completely different. I have two options. Blister pads, which are incredible. You can put them under your foot, above your foot, on your heel. These are really, really great to have. And then the last thing I like to take is I buy pieces of moleskin and I pre-cut it so I don't have to take any scissors with me. I cut them in like four or five different sizes, like random sizes and throw a couple of them in my bag too just so I have them in case I need to line my shoe with them or whatever. That's it. And it all, it all fit in my fanny pack. So there are a couple more things that we bring every once in a while. I have long hair. I like to wear my hair up. Make sure you bring a couple extra hair ties if you need them. Food's expensive in the park. And mm -hmm. you know, instead of getting a meal every time, I like to carry some snacks, some nuts or something. Almonds and Cheez-Its and or or, goldfish. Or those dried mangoes from Costco. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we get like the giant bag of dried mangoes from Costco. We take that in our suitcase with us. And then each morning we divide and just fill a little Ziploc baggie and carry that with us. So that's really nice. I hope this helps. I hope this gives you some ideas and um, maybe some things that you may think are helpful next time you go to the park. If there's anything you think we missed that's super important to you every time you go to a Disney park, We'd love to know, comment below. Um, other people will read those comments and maybe get some more ideas as well. Yeah, if there's something we're not doing that's gonna change our life, you have an obligation now to tell us. Blow our minds. Please. If you enjoyed our video, click the like button below. And for more content, please subscribe. Until then, 
Stay savage. Bye. Bye. Now, that, sounds, that sounds awful. <laughs> it's so bad. Don't take don't take a lobster roll on the yeah. on, don't take any lobster roll from anywhere on any airplane ever. <laughs> Seafood for the for the history of airplane travel and for the goodness of all humanity. Don't do that. Don't eat seafood on a plane. Please.